So here's another really good one using a headhunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not sure of the context. I mean, I know some people go to headhunters and pay them as a candidate. The way I know headhunters is having been called one for a lot of years. Um, we were retained search headhunters, so our clients paid us to build a pool and help them hire someone. Um, I will say this, I really believe that connections with headhunters can be very, very valuable. Um, there are a lot of good firms that focus on not-for-profits and NGOs, higher education. There are those that focus on IT and for-profits. Um, and um, every good search consultant um, needs to have talented candidates. And, and um, I, I can't decide if now is a good time to connect. I mean, some of these people are working really hard to get more business or finish the searches they're doing. So they're just as busy as everyone else. But it can be really helpful. And a good, a really good headhunter helps you with your resume and tells you what is going on in a search or what's going on in an industry. So yes, I think it can be a really great idea. You know, all things being equal, some are better to work with than others, but I think it's a great place to have contacts. And I know, I'm sure Andy, you wanna. I, yeah, I, I interpreted the question initially that uh, whether it makes sense to pay someone to uh, place you. And I'd be very cautious about that. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of that. And I'm not as sure it's, it's as popular as it used to be, but it's a, it's a, it may not get you the kind of job that you want. It'll just get the, you placed. And that I think you have to think about seriously. 